Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. About 1045 in Honolulu, 445 in New York City. It is Friday, finally the 15th day of June 2012 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. This weekend could prove to be a very interesting one. Of course, we have the Greek elections coming up on Sunday. Gold is currently higher, up about $2.70, trading at $16.26, $16.27 cash. The low today, $16.19. The high, $16.35. Silver right now, basically unchanged off a penny, $28.73 with a low of $28.45 and a high of $29.06. Traders, I want to start today's show off by looking at a short term. This is a 360 minute Hankinashi format, the dollar against gold. I'm using the continuous contract of gold and the continuous contract of the dollar. And it has been said, of course, that gold goes where the dollar has not. And you can really see this overall weakness after it came off of the top coming down here in which we've seen it go from about 84 to 81.85 where it is currently. Now in gold, we have had six straight up sessions. In other words, price advance. We've also seen an increase in price this week alone of over 2%. And you can really see this dynamic market move this is starting from the uh the seventh right in here we get a little bit of sideways action and the market has just been genuinely moving higher the only thing that i am also seeing is that in terms of the candle size this is just the straight 360 minute gold chart the candle size has been getting smaller so the trend itself is not strengthening in fact it's tapering off if not weakening a little bit for the time being we have, as I said, elections coming up Sunday in Greece. We have a FOMC meeting coming up. We have a lot of technical and fundamental data that is going to be revealed next week. Now, traders, we're looking at our daily chart. This is of August gold. And what is interesting to me right now is the fact that when we chart this really long-term trend line, this is that support line. And if you take a look at how it's fixed, in other words, the lows, you can see it matches there, it matches to this low, and it matches to this low. So really, all of the extreme lows, there can be no doubt, this market broke and broke hard below it. You can see that right here. It also seems pretty clear to me that on a tentative basis, we've really formed some good support at the 1520, 1530 area, and we have identified really a double bottom for sure, almost a triple bottom if we count this, although this high here, 1520, these highs a little bit below that. The other thing that we can notice on this is that for us to really consider this to be a bullish market, it really has to do two things. The first is it has to move back into this channel right in here. And then if it breaks into this channel, it needs to break above this resistance line to really give us a strong indication that the market's correction has actually concluded. Without that, without it breaking above this particular resistance, in other words, breaking into support, traders, to best illustrate how this market broke below and is currently just flirting with the idea of moving back up this channel, I have pulled up a long-term, this is a weekly chart, the candlestick format, cash gold. It's quite easy to see that for the better part of this last four years of trading, 2008 to 2012, we have seen this market really trade within a defined range as it moved up. You can see that it didn't always hit the bottom, but for the better part of this particular run, it stayed within that channel. The record top that we got when the market hit 1920, as you can see, broke above that channel. This tact line is drawn from one of the highs before 2008, and it matches to this. But you can see that it took a little while. It re-entered the channel, but here we have the opposite happening. In other words, here it broke below this channel and traded lower. Why do I bring that up? Because it's my belief right now that you can see how close we are, I think it's probably going to move back into this channel and then continue on its bullish track. 
But as I said before, we'll have to wait for technical data to support that assumption. Traders, lastly for gold, I have added a couple of Western technical studies, the RSI and the MACD. MACD, of course, moving average, convergence, divergence. If we look at that right now, you can see that there's a small hook, but it certainly has not crossed yet. That's the first thing that I'm noticing. The second thing I'm noticing is that the RSI, that relative strength index, has actually kind of flipped down, and you can see that right here. Now, that's also indicative of the candle size in the Henkin candles getting smaller, relative strength. We really look in terms of parameters to look at a market either overbought or oversold at 30 and 70. You can also see on the Henkin Ashi charts that we have gone green. We've got this doji candle on a longer term weekly chart. From there, we get these smaller bodied candles we haven't really built, but we have had a market that's had six up days in a row. If this market's going to turn bullish, we should see that happen now. And traders, for the last chart of today's show, I want to look at both gold and silver. These are both shorter term 360 minute charts, both in Henkin Ashi format. We can also see the rally that has transpired over the last, call it six trading sessions, right in here. And when we compare that, this is six, seven, to that same time period in silver, you're gonna see something a little bit different. And that is that where silver pretty much is green all the way, in other words, it has gone and had price advances, silver has not. Silver followed in suit for a portion of that, but you can also see that this marketplace came under pressure when gold did not. Interesting scenario, but not surprising because realize that silver also has that industrial metal component. We're gonna watch the silver very carefully to see if it follows suit with gold. We're going to have a most interesting week next week with the elections on Sunday and the FOMC meeting next week on Wednesday. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.